What is up everybody, welcome back and welcome to Justice. Today we are reacting to The Umbrella Academy Season 1, Episode 2. Last episode, real quick, actually, my name is Nathan. Davion. Miles. Cameron. Gang. If you wanted to, be ahead. I forgot what I was going to say. If you wanted to be if ahead. To be if you want to be ahead, go ahead and check out our Patreon down in the description. We are usually about like two episodes ahead, so if you like this, like, 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 like. I can't talk right now, dude. What the fuck I can't is going on talk. in this reaction? <laughs> I can't talk. How is, is the first the world is ending video. in eight days, alright? I'm panicking. The world is ending in eight days what according, this? according to the um, show. Uh, according to the show. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking like, about? Yeah, what the hell are you talking about? Did they, like, release some shit on the news? <laughs> like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, first off, if they said the world is ending in eight days, I'd be like, oh, thank gosh, right? People would panic. It, this shit needs to be fucking over. People would panic? I wouldn't do it. I, I wouldn't panic. I'd go I to my office house and be like, bro, let's whip up that last meal. And then boom. Whip up that last meal. Yeah, let's whip up that last fucking meal. Get popping. Yeah, everybody gets the table on the line. It's the up thing. to Nathan. It's gonna be spaghetti. As, I'm I'm not, give, as long as you have enough to feed the table, <laughs> I don't even care. Okay. Parmesan is provided. This lit. But, you guys gonna want ranch chicken? Yeah, I am yeah. for sure. For sure. Hell yeah. That's been sitting out all night long. That's fine. Eating, eating it the next morning. That is <laughs> still fine. It can be good, bro. It can be out for two days. I'm still gonna I'm shout still gonna out. Can you still gonna fuck it up? By the way, since we're watching the Brill Academy and we already watched the first episode, anybody have fan favorites? Nathan, I'm not. I already know Nathan. He's Diego. He's just five. Nathan's five. just Diego. <laughs> can we watch more than one episode before we talk about fan favorites? Like, well, who can be like, this is my favorite. Yeah, I choose number three. I choose the butler. The, the monkey? monkey? He's the most golden character on the show. Smith. George? Yeah, George. He yeah. understands his assignment. This man had a little bit of dialogue. Being you the know? butler. This man had a little bit of dialogue. He had, a, he had a lot of dialogue. Every time he was on screen, he had dialogue. What did he say? <laughs> Talking about his fucking old master. I don't know. Okay, fair enough. But what did he, what did he specifically say? Give us one quote. That's what that. Give us a quote. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, yeah. give us a quote from any of the characters that happened in the last first episode. I, I don't pay attention to the dialogue of characters. I just pay attention to why I like a character. Okay. I like number okay, three. So I can't. I like number three. three. Which one was number three? Number remember. three is the man who was wearing a skirt and could talk. Oh to yeah, 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 oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh no, camera. Go to yeah, go to. That's Klaus. Go to, yeah, Klaus. Go to character right now. Worst character. Is Diego. Diego. actually he's not the worst character. He's the best dancer out of all of them. But Diego. he's one of the yeah. He's one of the most annoying characters because he just doesn't fuck with the dad or any of them. Why does it seem like that little girl though is the main character? But yet she is the main character. Enough, but we didn't get enough on her like information on her in, in general in the first episode. All we know is Diego doesn't like her. Diego does not fuck with that family at all. I don't know why he, we know why he didn't like her. Yep, she spilled beans. On the fam. So because wait, they're mad because she wrote a book. I forget about the family secrets. She gave all the secrets away. Okay. So they're hating on the author. I mean, I'm if a, you, I don't want, I, like, if I don't like want my personal life out there, why the fuck you give my personal life out there? Yeah, but what if she didn't? What if she didn't write it like that? What if she made like a fiction book? She was gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna use my family and make them characters in this book. But everyone knows who it's about. So uh, that's the not whole my world, problem. The whole world knows who they're about. Okay, so it's not my fault. The world, the world put the pieces together. They right? did put the pieces together. It was literally the book was about their family, like okay. specifically. It's not like so it's, oh yeah, these are fake characters. No, they're like well, look, this is us. Like, so, did the book come out after the dad died or while the dad was alive? Because if it came out while the dad was alive, I mean, the dad was just dead. The dad he just, just died. died. Yeah. So the book. If the he just died, then the book been yeah. out. Yeah. So if the dad didn't have a problem with it, who gives a fuck? Who, know, who do we know if the dad didn't have a problem with it? And just because the dad doesn't have a problem with it doesn't mean any of the people that were in the book can't have a problem with it. Why are we talking about the dad? It seems like everybody else doesn't give a shit. Dad. Why are we talking about the dad right. in the first place? When we, when Number we five, like you brought her up. I know, but we all know here at this table, he didn't give a fuck about the kids in, the, in general. So, like, why do <laughs> well, we I, give a fuck about him if he didn't give a fuck about them? You know what I'm saying? I don't know, Gamer, you brought him up. <laughs> I'm saying, he seems like he had an important fucking role last fucking shit, so. Okay. <laughs> Mama, I just saw you do. It. I'm fine. Oh, I'm good. You're my back. Hey, you seem like you're mighty bothered. So make sure you're all right. Mama's gonna be fucked up, bro. Now I'm constantly gonna be that guy who's checking in. <laughs> like, bro, tell me why. Tell me why I come home yesterday. Danielle's trying to backpack on the narrative of over here. Like, we're not gonna be harsh to each other no more. We're gonna soften it down and be nice to each other. I'm trying to keep Look that narrative fucking going. Hypocrite. Look at this fucking hypocrite. Look at this, Look at this fucking Look hypocrite right now. Table. So let's see how it goes. I really hope it goes that way. We are going to be nicer at this table, all right? We are going to be nicer. That's Nathan, Nathan's going to do something and ruin the watch. What? Why is it always just me? That would just you not be nicer. 
Hmm? Damn. How do you make, not be nicer? Damn. Oh, why are you why are you putting something on solely someone else? I'm not I'm not gonna lie, I do apologize for accusing. Why do you assume? Something. Huh? Why do you assume that it's gonna be someone else and accuse them? Why are you not trying to accept my apology? Blue what? Talk. Blue talky. I know what is it? I don't know. I mean, it's still spicy though. <laughs> Alright, let's just get to the episode. Where do they live? Do they live in the UK, like because like what are these uniforms? Looks like the guy from Lemony is it Lemony Skit? Snicket. Snicket? Yeah. Jiminy Cricket? Jiminy Cricket? No, Lemony Snicket. You guys are very wrong. I don't think you're No, there's two different shows. Or two different stories. I think um um I'm rolling a joint? Come on, rolling up! Is that, Bro. Di is that Diego? I want to time travel. No. He's the best power in the show. Yeah. Number five. You haven't been excused. Maybe this is when he did, like, he. this is when he time travels. Oh. Oh, he what time travels. What? Yeah, I think he's, like, he's time traveling now. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, I was I'm telling you, I think he's gonna do something wrong. Yeah, no, this is when this, is ha this happened. Wait, this is when he was trapped, right? He like couldn't get back for like eight years or something like that. Like fifty years. Yeah, it was a long ass time. Yeah, he's uh, he's a little cocky. Look at him. What's the problem? What's the problem, bro? Let's see, always listen to your daddy. <laughs> what? <laughs> you heard the man. <laughs> Can you imagine? You do whatever it takes to survive, or you die. So we adapted. Whenever the world threw at us, we found a way to overcome it. Who's, yeah, who's we? Why didn't you just time travel back? <sighs> Gee, wish I'd thought of that. Time travel is a crapshoot. I went into the ice and never acorned. What does that mean? It's the best. That's it. it. Oh. <clears throat> How do you get back? That's what I want to know. The fuck? Um, what? I'm assuming that's a fake. Okay. Yeah. He actually got me. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, I thought he was just that, you know, psychotic? Yeah. Reservation for Hayes and Cha Cha. Here you go. Just tell me there's two beds. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Real firm. Now, uh, how long do you think? <laughs> okay. Just Smells like cat piss. First to cut our per diem and then our dental, and now we don't even get our own rooms. Where does it end? Okay, now, where's our guy? Mm. Isn't oh, these are the people that are looking for that, man. Yep. Yeah. Well, so much for that. Any witnesses? Yes. One. What happened during your shift? I would never go back there again. I'm quitting. Do I have to go through all this again? Again? Well, I already told the other detective everything. Oh! Damn. Well, he got taken out real fucking quick. I'm confiscating this. Military surplus, practically giving them away. And this. Those scans super cheap, buy it on eBay. That you can keep. He used to like that. <laughs> hey! <laughs> By the way, it's funny. I've had the same routine for the last four years. Now that I'm back down here, I'm not quite sure what to do with myself. I know the feeling. He was up in the moon for four fucking years. You know, after all this time, I know she would love to meet you. And Dad's monocle is still missing, so I can't just forget about that. I don't know if you're gonna find it in the fucking ocean. Didn't we see that Diego had it? Yeah, he threw it in the ocean. Okay. <laughs> Bro, what, what the fuck? fuck? <laughs> what is this guy? Bro. When did he end up back at the house? <laughs> Items from your father's office have gone missing. In particular, an ornate box with pearl inlay. Idiots. 
Ew. <laughs> Why not just ew? Oh, oh, oh hell, fucking no. How about I just put it in your pocket? No, no, no idea. Sorry, liar. Drop dead. Low blow. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Need to know who this belongs to. Where did you get that? I found it. At a playground, actually. Huh? He washes clothes. What a thoughtful young man. Yeah, look up the name for me, will ya? Uh, okay, Sheesh. what the fuck? Call security. Well then. First of all, why is everyone be getting punked by this little kid? Like, I get it, but like, bro, because that's not a little kid. I don't give a damn. Fingerprints on the knife don't match any of our guys. It gets weirder. It did match an unsolved cold case that came back circa, get this, 1938. Tell them to run it again. No, call Diego, because he would know. Look, I know you. You like playing by the rules, but you live for putting the scumbags away. So why don't you put that badge down for one night? You come out on the streets with me. What the fuck are you, Batman and Catwoman? What the fuck? He can play Batman. He cannot play Batman. George Clooney played Batman. That guy cannot definitely play not Marvel. Oh, shit. You know what I look like about this show so far? It's very, like, investigational. If you, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Sorry I left without saying goodbye. I'm the one that should be sorry. Yeah, I was dismissive, and I, I guess I didn't know how to process what you were saying. Well, now we got seven days, right? Like, yeah. He did wash his clothes. We had time to do that. What the fuck? What the, the fuck? Is <laughs> what is he doing? What is he wearing? <laughs> She'll hear you. I'm moist. Oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, moist. What? We got a bunch of extra toes down here. Down at Empire Avenue. The whole thing is a disaster. Kids all around. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, damn. Delicious. You want half? I'm fine, thanks. This man just took his lunch? I feel like that. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? I'm for no mayo. What? What? It's <laughs> my lunch! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Italian for dinner? This I'm man, bro. I'm talking about the kid. What about him? Time travel's a bitch. Especially without a briefcase. So they can time travel too with the briefcase? to some department store, that's it, I swear. Department store? Okay, elaborate. Are you okay? Yeah. You're probably better off here. No, I'm probably better off with my daughter. I'm sorry, I didn't. Well, you know, if I wanted advice, Vanya, no offense, it wouldn't be from you. Bro, you would be hating on her. I'm like, insane. Yeah, I will admit, she's, she's speaking some truth around her. No, she's not, bro. She's being a freaking asshole, dude. No, that's crazy. That's not being an asshole, in my opinion. Because Dad made it is, Cameron. Did Dad make you write that book about us too? Um. Well, see, she might have overblown it from just saying, "I think you're better off here." I don't think she meant without your child. Like, I think she might have overblown. Cameron, my only thing is this, right? You, she, she had it when she said, "You don't know what it's like for me." She could have left it there, but she was already like. You know, you don't know what it's like. You've never been in a relationship. I don't even think you've ever had a boyfriend. Like, bitch, shut up. Bro. Right, that's hell. She was just tackling on like, that's why I'm not gonna take this type of advice from you. You wouldn't know. Okay, but that's just think she overdid it. That's what I'm saying. Who gave you permission <laughs> to lay your hands on my son? <laughs> what? <laughs> They're both what? Oh, Bam. Oh, <laughs> Now. Oh! oh the fuck is that wrong with him? Beat the shit. <laughs> <laughs> is that on cameras? You're gonna do great in prison, Grant. Trust me. I've been His name is Lance. <laughs> <laughs> Little piece of chicken like you? What? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Klaus is so good, bro. <laughs> Klaus is fucking hilarious. Oh my god. Uh, 
The eye, it hasn't been purchased by a client yet. What? What do you mean? <laughs> you sort of like, you'll do great in prison. A little piece of chicken like you? You'll oh. just get... You'll just do great. What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> just now realize why you're so uptight. You must be horny. What the fuck? <laughs> I wasn't alone. Oh? <laughs> oh? <laughs> Pray tell. Can I help you? I'm Leonard. I'm your four o'clock. Looks like a Leonard. I forgot. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really just going for yeah. it. Um, no, I'll actually take that. And we're just going to start with the basics. So they're all obviously going to try to make a relationship out of that, right? Because that was long as fuck for no Yeah. Reason. Seems like it. Oh. What did you see that? Oh. oh that God. was genius. You were fighting the night the dad died. Oh. Yeah, well, I shouldn't have to prove my innocence to you. Or anyone else in this family. Ew. Ooh, that wall, hey? Yeah. Who's not the best? Well, you can relax. I have never been a prodigy at anything. Oh, yep. There's the blossoming. Yep. I'd say you're describing my dad more than me. Didn't really get each other, you know? But he loved violin, and that was not my thing. God that damn stresses it. me out. Damn it, Nathan! Because he's gonna be right. Like, it's a little relationship right here. Mm -hmm. Susses me out, though. He stresses you out? No, susses me out. Uh, I'm a woodworker. I have a shop in, um. Do you ever need any wood? Come on. <laughs> it wasn't really like that. It wasn't really like that. <laughs> It was a bit like that. <laughs> I'm glad we paused for a minute there, because I was going to be like, okay, bro. <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> okay. How did you, uh, how did you know I was up here? Oh, well, it wasn't hard. This is always where you used to come when you were upset. Who told you I was... Why do butlers always have to have, like, the, like, just... Know like every life life lesson in history. Super intelligent. And all they do is and keep it a buck with you. I think Pogo grew up with these kids, so he knows them in and out. Mm -hmm. She's your sister. She knows you didn't mean it. Doubt it. It's been a while since we've all lived under the same roof. Almost thirteen years. Most families have home movies to look back on. <laughs> we have surveillance footage. Yeah, it's all so, it's all so. I hoped it might cheer you up. Make sure you lock up in the uh, Things have been disappearing lately. These are too important to lose. Damn, Pope was all alone now because, like, you don't have the dad. Yep. The mom's a fucking robot, so I mean. Oh, God. Dad. Oh, oh. she. I mean, he died at his house, so there would be tape of that, right? Right, yeah. But you would think the butler would already have seen that, so... Dolores. It was a mannequin that he was with? It oh, better yeah, not have been. been. It better not have been. That better just be like... Boom. Okay, you know, I mean, you guys aren't, like, understage. It's like... Think of it uh, um, with the Will Smith movie. I Am Legend. I Am Legend. When you're alone for so long. Oh. Oh, crap. What? Oh. Oh, shit. Damn. No, not Dolores. Oh, yeah. Dolores is dead. If he wanted to, he can literally teleport out yeah. of him. I'm sure it has a range, and I'm sure it's probably in a visible. Yeah, it has to be visible. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh! Okay, no way that these pants are blocking this. Oh, fuck. Is his power not working? I think mean, it's because he has Dolores with him. This man really saved a mannequin. 
That's his boot. I can swear he slashed that lady though. It looked like it. Yeah, I saw blood, so. If he didn't have to save Dolores, he would have murdered him. Come on, I gotta show you something. Shit, no, I'm interested. Oh. oh. Luther was the one holding an eye? Yeah. Is it his eye? No, wait, it's his, right? Was you seeing Allison? Oh, fuck, no. Is that Diego? Diego. And behind him? There's Allison. Allison. What the fuck happened? I mean, he can't know that these are them, though, right? Because he hasn't seen them at this point. These are just who he's seen. Mr. Klaus. Well, he's in the future right now, so this is what he sees in the future. But how is he? Can't, he can't know that those are the other numbers. What do you mean he been knew them? Yeah, when they were kids. Yeah, they so he wouldn't know what they look like when they grow up. Now he knows. You see the umbrella. But you're not gonna know first off first sight. <laughs> he recognized he recognized Luther's hand in the rubble immediately. I don't think he like I don't know if he recognized that that was Luther. He might have just saw a person because there's no way that he would just know what they look like as adults. So. I think at first I thought the entirety of the entire storyline was around Vanya, but I think the storyline is around five. Uh, yeah, 100% five. You know what I mean? And yeah. I feel like it's literally up to five. Okay, so hear me out. All right. So five time jumped into the future, right? Right. So he time jumped into the future and he realized that, oh, everything's going to die in eight days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So then he time jumped back. What we're assuming right now is those two people that were getting ready to fight him in the um, in the department store or whatever it is to be, they had that box that they put in the vent. Is that box that they put in the vent also a device that helps them time travel? Because if it is... They made a reference like that. Like... Okay, so if it is, what if... the camera? All right, so my mind is like... I mean, I'm probably way off, but my mind... At first, my mind was over here like, maybe five's the reason that the world dies in eight days, right? So that's why he came back, so he can avert that. But now I'm thinking those people are the reason that the world ends, or whatever it is going to be, mm -hmm. and five was one of the people that still survived, so they're trying to kill him in the past, so he doesn't, you well, know what I mean? five couldn't have survived because he went away. No, five jumped into the future, which means he survived. But... We well, technically survived because he time jumped, but he wasn't there when the world ended. No, but that's what I mean. Because he time jumped, they, I'm pretty sure they recorded all these other deaths. Like, they, they killed all the other numbers, right? But not him, right? So now that they went back in time, they're trying to kill him, so that doesn't even become a thing. Is that, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Mm, I don't know. Like, get rid of him before the future comes? Boom. You know what I mean? But what's the point if they succeeded? I mean, they don't know what happened, so... I mean, if they can if they can time jump, they should know what happened if they went to the future, right? But, like, I mean, kind of, but, like, what... I know, it's tough. Be, I mean, time travel is always weird when it comes to anything, because those people can't... How could those... Like, for all we know, those two people right there are some of the big reasons why the world ended up ending. ending. So they couldn't have time jumped in the future and been to the end of the world because they wouldn't have been there at that time to make the world end. If those two people have such a big, like effect on the world ending it's 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 weird I mean, time travel is always weird no matter how whenever you do it because it, it never makes actual sense but well let's put it this way all right obviously five is a very very important part in what's going to happen in the near future because they could literally pull up on vanya right now and kill her with ease they could literally run up in her apartment and run that no problem right mm -hmm. Luther would probably be a little bit harder. Allison would be easy. She's already famous. So you can just pull up to wherever she's famous at and handle your business, right? Klaus, he's weak as all hell. He just talks to the dead. You can handle him quick. Diego. Is Diego's the only problem that you have to deal with. So if that's the case, I don't think they give a shit about the rest of the seven or the six. It's just five. That's an issue. Nobody has an interest in college like five does. I, I don't know, Klaus can talk to the dead. I feel like it's kind of interesting. Making someone 
like wishing someone on someone and like mind controlling someone is pretty interesting as well. No, that's not mind control. He can just communicate with the dick. No, uh, the the girl. Allison. Allison can mind control. Yeah, I just don't think that's as powerful as. Well, no, I'm, but it's still interesting though. Yeah, but I just don't think it'd be effective like against an opponent that has like. She's a support hero. That's it. So like those people that have guns and shit like that, I feel like her power's not gonna come into that much use if they're trying to hunt her. You know what I'm saying? Unless she can get close enough to talk to them and compel them. Yeah, what is the radius? Yeah, How but they seem like clothes, like they know what they're doing. So I don't think it's gonna end up there. Where, but there's so many other kids with powers. In the world. Why is that not talked about? I mean, maybe they do eventually talk about that, but like, that like, seems like not an issue. I'm so confused. Man, lost an eye and decide, decided to end the world. The fuck? <laughs> Who lost an eye then? <laughs> That's what I want to know. We don't know yet. That's why number you five took is my eye? Whole world must end now. Must be a very important eye. I was confused. At the beginning, I thought Diego was the problem because the that that fool is just literally all around like a rogue. Doesn't give a shit about the family. Mm -hmm. Doesn't give a shit about anybody else. I figured he was the problem, but now, bro, I'm uh, still on five, bro. Bro, I'm saying for the for the fact that the entire storylines around number five, I still I still think he's not like like he's the problem. You know what I'm saying? Like like there's something that had to, had to happen. You give me how is he the problem? He wasn't there when the world ended. What do you mean? He was there. He wasn't. He was there. Well, he didn't. He wasn't there when it happened. He, he was. He wasn't there when it happened. But he was there so to how, see. To see. He's. He. He's foreseeing it happening. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, obviously, he he couldn't have caused it though. But Nathan, that's not. I, Nathan, I've never seen he caused it. All I'm, I'm saying is, is he. If he can time travel, you know what I'm saying, and he time traveled to after it happened. I just think he should be able to be able to time travel to before it happened, just so he knows the events that brought it to happen, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't know what happened, though. Like, he doesn't know when it happened. Like, he doesn't know the exact things that transpired, probably, and he couldn't just go... He said he couldn't just go back. I get that, but he did go... Like, what makes no sense to me, if what, if what we're watching in this episode, he said seven days from now the world's going to end. But yet, in the first episode, it showed us him jumping into the future to when after the world ended, you know what I'm saying? Okay. What, what would be so difficult for him just fucking time traveling six days into the future before that seventh day of it happening just to know what events took place before it happens? What would be what would be so hard about doing that? Well, time traveling is also... I mean, we just we saw that time traveling is not the best thing you should do. So I'm pretty sure time traveling again is not going to be the best thing. I mean, he has... He knows, like, some shit that happened. He's like, in, like, some certain amount of days... Someone eyes gets taken, take and he has, and he destroys, gonna destroy the world. So I'm pretty sure he wants to give him as, as himself as much prep time. I'm not gonna lie, Miles. I, I was listening to Nathan Cameron, but let me just say something. And um, you know, if I'm alone in this, then I'll be alone in this. But uh, Umbrella Academy, I hope it picks up in these next few episodes because these first two episodes, while it gave us that interesting ass thing about the world dying here in a little bit. And then this uh, episode two saying that, uh, or showing us that there's importance around the I and five and all this other jazz. Am I alone with saying this like kind of so unbelievably confusing that it's not as captivating as I would want it to be? Yep. I'm not alone there, right? Nope. It's so confusing that I'm not like, yeah. I'm not, I'm like, bro, what is. Come on, I'm still bro. trying to figure stuff out. To me, there's 15 different storylines, so I can't, I can't really focus on what the hell is important. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. All right, Laura just got introduced as a character. And I'm okay. Oh, a mannequin. It's the bull. <laughs> and she's important to five. So I, should she be important to me? I don't know. I'm just the audience. Hey, Cameron, I'm keeping it a band. I'm focused on Leonard. I want her. I want Leonard and Vanya to hurry up and make something happen. That's the most interesting thing that I saw this episode. I'm more. What? Yeah, that's my book, so I'm sorry. All right, I want him to get his lessons in. I want him to take it to the woodshop. Well, guess what? Next week is not going to happen. The war's ending next week. All right, so you need to speed a whole relationship in five days. Vanya knows that the relation, the world's going to end, all right? Speed this shit up five days, get with Leonard. Boom. 
There's already chemistry there, bro. You already see oh, yeah. that shit. All right, 100%. hurry up and get with Leonard. Make that shit fucking happen, all right? Uh, dude, this is why time traveling is so confusing, right? I hate time travel. Because, like, you say he jumped in the future, he ended up where the world's gonna end, right? So, are they gonna write it up to the point where he, like, can you be at multiple times in point? Can you be at multiple places in time at the same, like, at the same time? Like, did he, like, is it, like, Dude, I, I mean, I hope they explain it in their uni- in the Umbrella Academy universe. Like, he jumped in the future, and he saw that the world ended. But then, a bit, fifty years later, or whatever goes by in the since then, he's able to jump back. So that does that mean he was actually originally there when the when the world ended, and maybe somehow was the cause of it or something like that? Maybe trying to stop it caused it. I mean, I don't know. Like. It's weird. See, that's why I hate time. Because look, wouldn't it wouldn't it make some sense? Like, oh shit, if he changes something in the if he changes something in the past, could it alter the future? That's what I'm saying right this now. Is, is like, do we yeah. know? Do we know? That's why you guys like, gotta watch, watch the movie Back to the Future as a kid? Was, do we know if you actually was not that. there yeah. as a kid when the world ended? Mm. Like, is this how is this how the world actually ended? Like, is everything going to? According to plan, how it actually originally ended. Were you and then he died as a kid, there. But since he, you see he died, he died. You see, he died. He actually ended up dying. So confusing. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. He's so confused. Can he fucking get his senses up? He he actually <laughs> ended up dying when the world ended. But yeah, as how he is right now. But obviously, he still survived fifty years after the world ended because that was his past self. Talk about number five. I don't you know what I mean? Yeah. Talk about five, right? Let's see. And this is what the fuck I mean, Miles. This shit better pick up in like two more episodes. Like, I really need. Because honest to God, was keeping me laughing. My man's Klaus is a fucking oh, comedian. Yeah, for sure. He is literally com- He quite literally flamed that dude at work talking about, bro, I'm going to make him look like you just beat our asses. And then he's, bro, he literally sucker punched the fuck out of five and was like, how you going to hit my son, bro? I'm going to keep it up with you, though. The rest of the staff. Freaking idiots. There are clear windows to see what the fuck is going on in the other room. Do they not have cameras? That's it's what I'm a, saying. It's a doctor's office. Just, just seeing them enter his office acting all weird and shit, I would have been. I wouldn't. I wouldn't work have, would have been like the last thing on my mind. I would have just been like, oh, what the hell's going on? The second I would have saw some kid get slapped in his room, I would have been like, okay, I have nothing else to do for today. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, what the fuck's gonna happen next? Oh my god. But that was like great though, I'm not gonna lie. He like I'm telling you, he's one of those characters that's like he's gonna be like the comedy relief and for me, he's the only character he's the only character that I'm focused on. One thing that pissed me off this episode, y'all saw that book that was in the trash can, right? Yeah. Right. You see how that's all we saw of that book? And yep. we didn't get no information. So about I figured it was important, right? I figured it was important, right? Probably is. I mean Well yeah, yeah because Pogo up. said that that stuff that was in that little case was super valuable. There's only so much time you put in one episode. What? There's only so much time you can put in one episode. Probably gonna come back next episode of an episode later. Yeah, oh my God, I, feel like I hope so because for the audience it's just very annoying because they'll be like, "What storyline do we focus on? Do we focus on Allison getting her kid back from her husband? Do we focus on?" I mean, everyone's gonna have their own lives. You can't you can't just all be doing the exact same thing from the first episode. And like I said in the beginning of when we first started watching this, I like how this show we we all can actually pick our own favorite character and then focus on what. What is important to us rather than what's the main fucking shit that's important? Because just like us, you guys are fucking tripping. Just saying. Because just like I said, Nathan, I was focused on the time traveling. You were being like, that's not the most important thing. The, po- the most important thing is the fucking world ending. I'm gonna be like, I feel like people can pick and choose How? what's the most important. You know? That man is hilarious. Yeah, weird. but whatever he you're funny. caring about right now, it's not gonna matter. Weird. Who's your favorite character? I know it's not Luther, so you can miss move that more. The world ending is the one thing that's gonna matter in seven days. Hmm? For people to be like their favorite character is Luther. If that is a favorite character, that'd be, that wouldn't make any kind of sense to me. What is he doing? That I mean, you know, that's, what, that's shit that we nothing. need to worry about in seven days. That's not, no, that's not what we need to worry about. We do need to worry about now to try to stop it from happening. That's seven. We need to worry we about don't that know, We don't know. We, what if we stop the person that stops it, that ends the world seven days before seven days happens? Yeah, and we're the supposed to wait until the, the, the last day to you stop it. You don't be like, oh, now the world, now he's, now the exact time the world is ending, now we worry about it. No, you're going to try to stop it beforehand. Imagine not trying to stop the dude from the, stop the fucking world ending, you know what I'm saying? And I don't succeed. Now, the world ended, and I still don't know how my dad died. First off, at the, first off, we dad dying is not the importance right now. The dad dying, 
From because you're going to die in 10 from days. The first it's episode, not going to From the first episode, it made it seem like the dad's dying. And whoever whoever killed the dad was very, very important. Yeah, until the, so, until the last second. So the world's ending, right? Mm-hmm. So we can only assume it's Earth that's that's getting ready to end, right? So I would the think... The planet they're on? So Earth, right? <laughs> so I would yeah. think Luther is fine, all right? Just round up the gang and go back to the moon. Well, we, we did see that one <laughs> was obviously true. We saw him dead. If the Earth is destroyed, how the fuck... Do you, what, what condition... Hey, David, you Cameron, he died, he died because he stayed on Earth. Now that Five has told you that the Earth is going to die, get the gang, no, go back to the moon. Realistically, he can't be. Like, bro, you're already... Get the gang and go back to the moon. Go pick up Allison's kid, all right? And go to the moon. And bring Leonard well, no, for Pogo. Vanya. Well, fuck that idiot. He has to oh, bring Pogo. Like, how and you, Pogo. How are you and gonna, like, the mannequin. Eat? How are you going to, like, where is, how are you going to eat? Huh? How are you going to eat? Whatever the fuck Luther was eating. Eat those fucking little, Who little the fuck squeeze the candies. Moon for the rest of the lives? Uh, at moon or Luther. death in seven days. I mean, stop the war from ending and then humanity will live on. First off, if the war is ending, why the fuck would I fucking, that, that's our fate, all right? I'm just going to leave. The, I'm gonna watch the world end from the moon. From the moon, the and, fate is at that's that point. You are also the reason the world is ending. No, no what the fuck can I do? No, I'm not. Um, I don't know. You're the one who was born with fucking powers. Do something. Okay, let me just time travel to let you guys know, and then boom. Let me go pick up an eye from the fucking future. Come back and be like, yeah, I got this. Here's your souvenir from the future of your inevitable death. You got it. That's basically what number five did. That's literally what number five did. Number five is is continuously trying to stop the world from ending right now. He's trying to fucking figure everything out. He really is. With a mannequin. The man who was alone for 50 years. I'm not, insane. Hit, I'm not hitting on bro. I'm just over here like, damn, bro. Dolores. No, bro. I'm not really feeling it. What? I'm like, yeah, I hope <laughs> you're not feeling it. It's a mannequin, but the man was alone for yeah, 50 he can't years. Hey, imagine. As long, I'm glad Cameron said that because I figured, just based on who Cameron is, I figured he'd say some weird shit like, but I totally get it. That's a badass mannequin or something. Like, I figured he'd be, like, advocating, like, having sex with this well, mannequin. No, no, no. I, 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 I feel like that's When Nathan, you, when that's Nathan made the right. I Am Legend reference, I get it. Because that would be the first thing I'm going after. But Will Smith wasn't really fucking mannequins in I Am Legend. What? What? The first thing I'm going after. Oh, God. The first thing you're going after is mannequins. There's no more humans left. What's your name going to be? Name her Jasmine. She doesn't get a choice. She's a mannequin. I name her. She doesn't give a She doesn't get a choice. That motherfucker, it doesn't get a choice. Like, that is not it. <laughs> no, see? But if I'm on my I Am Legend shit or on my five shit, it's a her. I'm not going to call it it. That's just fucked up. You feel me? I think many kids don't have feelings, so they're not going to be able to take that shit. But still, like, no. I'm going to fucking treat her like a woman. I guess, Kevin. You guys have seven days to live. What's the first thing you do? Oh, the world's going to blow up in seven days. All right. Me? I would skydive. I would skydive for sure. I would... Uh... I would deep sea dive. You know what I mean? See what's at the bottom of the ocean. I'm gonna die in seven days, so what the fuck? Might as well just go down there, see what the fuck's going on. And then I already told you what I would do. You remember what I told you what I'd do? This is a long long, This is a long ass time ago. I was like, bro, if the world's about to end, I'm going out one way and one way only. Just, no, remember what the lineup? Doing all of them. I'm doing all of them. I'm about to line up all the tracks and just face that shit, bro. This is the end reference? Boom, I'm literally facing everything, all right? I think we had a conversation about this where like, how is that smart if you're basically... I don't care, that's going to be the best trip of my life. I don't think that's going to be the best trip. It, you're probably going to OD and then die. You're going to die before the world ends. immediately, probably. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so, all right? I'm going to do a small dose of everything. They probably don't all go together. Yeah, there's going to be interaction. Okay, well... What the fuck is it gonna matter? The world's gonna end in. Exactly. Why are you, yeah. guys, why are you guys putting this shit? Yo, y'all worried about this shit. I'm gonna you be. Might as well not have a parachute when you fucking skydive at that point. Yeah, that's why. First off, if, if if somebody told me the world's gonna end in three minutes, I'm skydiving with no parachute. Yep. I'm How gonna... are you gonna do that in three minutes? How are you gonna get, How are you gonna get up in minutes? the air? Okay, if, uh, obviously you gotta get go jump off. Obviously, I'm already, no, obviously I'm already in the fucking and like, oh, helicopter. Wait, left before, before, before the bomb. Slows. Boom. I'm literally, they're gonna be like, do you wanna put this on? No, dumbass, I don't need it. No, I'll do like, jumping. before the bomb explodes, bitch, fly away from the bomb. Uh, <laughs> wait, but the entire Earth's gonna be. How That's the fuck is the bomb, one bomb gonna t- blow up the entire Earth? Because they the said the, the, world, the world. Thank you. Do you not understand the fucking saying? Cameron said it right, the end of the world. Everything's ending, regardless. I mean, it could be the end of the world, but you can still survive. Like, there could be survivors. Not the world explodes. 
The Earth explodes. If the Earth oh, yeah, explodes if the, right if the now. planet just blew up, like the whole planet blew up, yeah. But no. if it's like that, where just everything on the planet is blown up, you can still survive that. You can go under okay, then show me where the fucking bunker is so I can hide up under there till the shit what ends. If you're in an airplane, just so stay up there. Yeah. I feel bad though, because I'd be like, damn. Just I'm watching smart. everything get blown up. Yeah, it's selfish. I'd have to be asleep. I was smart it's selfish, but you want to go to the moon? But huh? it's not selfish to go to the moon and watch the world. But if you're, in a, pl- if you're in a plane, that means somebody else is living because the pilot's up there with you too. Boom. The pilot's going to be. A baddie named Allison. And boom, shit. <laughs> right. Yeah. Thank you guys all for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We love talking to you guys in the comments. We want to see you guys on Twitter as well. So please follow us at just underscore SYT as in YouTube. If you guys can hit the notification bell in the bottom right hand corner to be updated on our upcoming content. Miss anything? Logan about bottom left hand corner to watch content you may have missed. Appreciate the love of the platform, platform. But if you guys can, like, comment, and subscribe because we do appreciate it. You know, my name is Cameron. Miles. Dave Young. Nathan. Ladies and germs, it's been just us.